<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to go first? Do you? Knock, <laughs> <laughs> paper, oh. scissors. <laughs> <laughs> How do you just lost? I've said your name over and over and over and over again for a very long time. And when I say your name, Patty, it brings up feelings of love and compassion and understanding and other things that would not be appropriate for me to discuss here tonight. <laughs> Off now. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much and the love that you have brought to me has brought me healing and growth and maturity and a belief that you are just by my side and you're who I seek in my moments of joy and in my deepest darkest moments of pain when I'm on my knees your hand is there, outstretched to me. And I love you for that. I love you for accepting me, for who I am, all the things that I've done without judgment. I'm honored that you chose me, and I still choose you. I also need to make some promises that no legal union could ever change. One is the pantry and the linen closet will never be organized in the way that you want it to be. I will never be your fix-it person because I don't know how. And my sense of direction will never improve. <laughs> I do promise to continue to love you deeply, to be honest with you, to tell you the truth, to give you everything that's in my heart and soul at all times, knowing that that's what keeps us close. I love you. Bonnie, I accept that you will not ever keep the pantry organized. I look into your eyes and I don't, I don't see it with my eyes. I see with my heart. And I don't feel it with my heart. I feel it, I feel it deep in here. I feel this connection that I don't really have words for. And I've always felt it with you, always, since we first met. I've always felt it. You love in this world unlike anyone I've ever known. You make this world a better place to live. And I am so happy that you choose me. I choose you because you are so generous, because you're so giving, because you're so loving and gentle with people, and you teach me to be a better person in the world, and you teach me how to love more deeply, and I love you, and I'm gonna love you the rest of my life. Will you be my wife? <laughs> I will, but Barrett still has some questions to ask about. Oh, she does? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You ready for the questions? Yes. <clears throat> you want me to read it from here? Yes. <laughs> Bonnie and Patty are happy today, not just because they can share the joy of their love for one another before their family and friends, but also because they have the opportunity to express their ambitions for the future. Patty and Bonnie, do you promise to help each other in developing your hearts and minds generosity, cultivating concern, morals, patience, zeal, focus, and wisdom as you age and undergo the various ups and downs of life. 
and to transform them into the path of love, compassion, joy, and equanimity? We do. We do. Recognizing that the external conditions of life will not always be smooth and favorable, and because of that, internally, your own minds and emotions may sometimes be stuck in lack of enthusiasm. <laughs> Do you vow to see all these conditions as a challenge to help you grow, to open your hearts, to accept yourselves and each other, and to generate concern for others who are suffering? Do you promise to avoid becoming closed, narrow, or opinionated, and promise to help each other in seeing the positive side of the situation with a courageous attitude? I do. <laughs> I'll give the college try. Understanding that just as we are unknown to ourselves, sometimes we are mystery to each other. Do you undertake to look for understanding yourselves, each other, and all the living beings around you, to examine your own minds and mental strength continually, and to regard all the mysteries of life with curiosity and joy? I do. I do. That you're almost done. Do you pledge to care for and enrich your affection for each other and to share it with all beings, to take the loving feelings you have for one another and your vision of each other's potential and inner beauty as an example, and rather than spiraling inwards and becoming self-absorbed, to radiate this love outwards to all beings? We do. Congratulations.